Yo guys, how you all doing? It's Fusion Blitz here, and today I am bringing you another video. So sorry for not uploading in a while, I've kind of been busy with tests and everything, and real life comes first and YouTube comes second. But anyway, today I am bringing you a tutorial. Haven't done one of these in a while, but what, I want, what I'm going to be teaching you guys is how to record Minecraft using NVIDIA Shadowplay. So first of all, there are a few requirements. You're going to need an NVIDIA GPU, of course. It's not going to work with AMD GPUs or Intel integrated graphics. No, you need an NVIDIA GPU. More specifically, you're going to need a desktop one. It doesn't work with laptops and has to be a 600 series or higher. So you like your 650 Ti's to like 780 Ti's and Titans. Those are all fine. So what you're going to do is you're going to download NVIDIA GeForce Experience 2.0. Um, and if most of you should already have that if you have an NVIDIA GPU, but if you don't, go to NVIDIA's website and download that. And you're going to want to open it up, you're going to go to Preferences, you're going to go to Shadow Play, and you're going to tick this box, Allow Desktop Capture. If you don't have this, make sure you're running 2.0. I think it's in 2.1 now, but make sure you have at least 2.0. And then, um, the little indicators will appear at the top left left yes top left and you'll be able to record your desktop now what this is like gonna do is open up Minecraft because Minecraft's an open GL game meaning it won't record with regular shadow play because it's not DirectX and it won't make a sep it won't make a separate profile for the game because it's open GL but now you're just gonna open it go into your world press your hotkeys and whatever and you'll be recording. It's as simple as that. So what you're seeing here is my Minecraft world. Let's just move around. I am running shaders to show you how this thing doesn't affect your frames at all really. I usually get 55 to like 70 frames running shaders without recording and when I'm recording whoops, 55 FPS, 54 it bobs around there sometimes it jumps up to 60 or 70 but usually stays around the same FPS and it's more than playable like I'm moving around and it's extremely smooth maybe that's because of the motion blur but everything's running smoothly you're not losing any frames and it's just a lot more convenient to use so I really like shadow paper this reason and I'm glad that Nvidia put this in cause it's a really really nice piece of software and yeah, so this is why I'm going to be sticking with NVIDIA GPUs for the while. Like AMD is just fine, but NVIDIA, they are amazing from a features perspective, you got to admit. So, hopefully you Minecraft players who have beast desktops can now record Minecraft better with crap tons of mods and everything, and you don't want any FPS drops, Shadowplay is for you. And you can also choose where to save the files, of course. And it makes a separate folder for each game you play. And desktop is like another separate folder for desktop capture. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, hopefully it helps a lot of you out. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out.